This is the first whiskey produced using artificial intelligence. Yeah, I'm not sure what to think either. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this is called Intelligence. Uh, it's from McMyra. It was produced in partnership with Four Kind uh, through artificial intelligence. Uh, I don't know if you know much about AI machine learning. Uh, if you do, you've probably come across Microsoft Azure before. It's machine learning software. That's what Four Kind specializes in, and they made this whiskey. Um, well using machine learning and artificial intelligence, which sounds, it sounds crazy. <laughs> Scary, but maybe delicious? Um, let's just give it a go. I have no idea what this is going to be like. See, it's, it's a robot, it's even made out of metal. Even the top is metallic. Good sound. Good weight. But then again, if I were a robot, this is exactly what I'd be looking for in my whiskey stopper. Suspicious. Artificially, intelligently created whiskey. I should probably take a second to explain a bit more about what that means or how this was actually made. Uh, so if you know how whiskey's made, whiskey is made from three ingredients, water, yeast, and barley, and that's it. Though all the flavor, well not all the flavor, but a vast majority of the flavor comes from the wood that you put whiskey in. So all this coloring, uh, because when whiskey is first distilled, it comes right off the stills, it's clear, um, comes from the wood that it's kept in. Uh, a lot of the smell, a lot of the flavor comes from the cask that it's kept in. So for something to be called whiskey in Scotland, it needs to be in an oak cask for at least three years. And typically you'll see things that come from bourbon casks or sherry casks. But you also get things that come from other kind of exotic flavors, uh, different kinds of wine, um, different things, just loads of experiments happening all over the world. Uh, but the place that does the most experimentation, or at least a lot that I've seen, uh, from stuff that I've never even heard of or knew exists, like cloud wine, uh, comes from McMyra. So they have all of these casks of whiskey that are in, well, so whiskey that's maturing in really exotic and interesting casks. And what a master blender will do uh, is taste all of those different casks, uh, take a step back and say, all right, uh, I have a great palate. I know what I'm doing. I know how to create flavors that people will like. I'm going to have a bit of that cask, a bit of that cask, and a bit of that cask. I'm going to mix it all together, and I'm going to make a great whiskey. And that's what they do. And all of that takes years and years of experience and training and is obviously very manual because you're trying loads of different whiskeys. Oh, sounds like a terrible job, right? So what they've done with this artificially intelligent whiskey uh, is they've taken a database, they've taken loads of data uh, to create different formulas or different recipes to make whiskey. So at McMyra, they took all of the different casts that they had laid down. Uh, they took consumer data. They took uh, expert opinion about what kind of whiskey experts like. They took data that general consumers like. They took sales data. They took all this data and they put it together to create recipes based on the stocks of whiskey that McMyra had. Uh, they came out with 70 million different combinations of whiskey. And Basically what it then said is, we think, or we think, I'm already talking about a machine as if it's a person, um, what the artificial intelligence software came up with was different recipes to create whiskey. So said, you should try a bit of cask one, some of cask two, uh, loads of cask 107, and then just a smattering of cask 10,002. And we said, if you do that, you'll make a whiskey that lots of people will like. And I've probably drastically decreased the science, but ultimately, that's how they made the artificial whiskey. Uh, and I should also say that, obviously, it came out with these recipes, uh, but the master blender at McMyra actually chose the whiskey and actually put this together. So it might have been created by uh, software, uh, but it was 
curated and actually chosen uh, by the master blender at McMyra. So it's not entirely made by artificial intelligence. Uh, there's still obviously a really key role that, that they played. So anyway, so that's, I just wanted to give a bit of background before I, I got into actually what this whiskey tastes like. Uh, whew, on the nose, that ha it has a lot, wow. Um, there's it, there's a lot of this is gonna sound sound a bit uh, a bit small. <laughs> there's a lot of smell coming through. Um, probably not the most scientific of tasting notes, uh, but there's a lot going on. You can just tell that there are lots of flavors. You're getting sort of vanilla. You're getting things that you maybe associate with bourbon casks, but you're also getting some sweetness that's maybe coming from sherry casks. There's a lot on this nose. Really interesting. I'm actually probably struggling to pick out individual flavors beyond that um, sort of typical vanilla. But it, it, it's interesting. Like I said, there, there's a lot to to unpick. It feels like there's there are lots of esters coming off of this, which I imagine is probably part of the point because there's lots of different casks that have gone into creating this. Okay, and then on the palate, um, it's definitely more of a dry whiskey. Um, not getting lots of those sweet notes, bitish, bit of citrus maybe, but for the most part, I'd, I'd say this is dry to an off dry. Uh, the alcohol is incredibly well integrated. Uh, very, very smooth. This is 46.1% ABV, uh, so a bit stronger than um, your typical whiskeys that you might pick up from a shop. So uh, generic whiskey, a uh, Glenfiddich 12, uh, Glenlivet. Uh, most of those will all be about 40. Will all be around 40% ABV. Uh, so this is picked up a bit. Uh, obviously, when you're getting to cask strength whiskeys, you're probably looking at more than 46%. Uh, but this is it's a bit punchy, and that's probably what's carrying uh, a lot of this flavor. Uh, and I'm surprised that even at 46%. Typically, you get a bit of harshness or a bit of at least warming uh, on it. But uh, no, this is very smooth, very, very drinkable. Uh, if you're a person that's not used to necessarily drinking neat spirits, this might be something that you could still tolerate. Uh, but I say tolerate because there's actually a lot of flavor here. So probably not something for a whiskey novice, not because um, the alcohol is too harsh for someone that's not used to neat spirits, but just because there's a lot going on when I get to this whiskey. In fact, I, I kind of feel like just having this one sip makes me think that it sort of needs a bit of time to maybe evolve a bit on the glass or just you know open up a bit more. Uh, unfortunately, if I stood here for a half an hour waiting for this to you know develop, you might get bored with the video. So, so I've given this uh, a half an hour. Uh, and now actually when I taste it, it actually has opened up quite a bit. I think that that half an hour in the glass really helps because there is a lot of flavor. It's very, the first time I tried it, it, it almost felt like constricted because it just it had loads it wanted to give uh, and it was just a bit too concentrated. And just waiting that half an hour to me really helped it open up. Um, so as I said before, I'm getting a lot of sort of citrus. It's really interesting, lots of different flavors. The finish uh, is really nice as well. It's very long, very complex finish. Lots of different notes at play. I kind of feel like I could stand here and the longer I stand drinking this whiskey, I might pick out more and more things, which, which is interesting and you know, something that you don't typically get with a lot of whiskey. I think that this is a really interesting thing to try. My first thought when I got this was, it might be a bit of a gimmick. It's like, let's be honest, this is artificially intelligent created whiskey. If anything is going to be fodder for a gimmick, it could be this, but absolutely not. This does not taste to me like a novelty. There's a lot in here and it's very interesting and priced at about 60 pounds, it's actually really competitive uh, because I think that the story makes it interesting. Even if the whiskey was terrible, I might still say, you know, the story's cool, it's worth trying. But actually, even if it didn't have that story, I still think this is a very enjoyable whiskey. And I could definitely sit with this for quite a long time and let these flavors develop and continue to experience different things. 
And I think that's great. Um, but the story together with that makes it fantastic. So if you like whiskey, this is absolutely something that you should give a go. In fact, it might even be something that's particularly good for uh, if you have a friend or someone that also likes whiskey and you want to give them something different to experience. This is really good for that. And like I said, it's not just a novelty. This is genuinely nice liquid. Thanks for watching this video. We're Top Whiskeys. Find us on Instagram and YouTube. And thanks for watching.